We are ready now for the men's 200 meters. The world and American record set by Michael Johnson, the United States, in that miraculous run at the Atlanta Summer Games, 19.32 seconds. On June 1st, however, Michael Johnson put the world's fastest man title on the line, battling with Donovan Bailey of Canada, an event that took much hype, much ballyhoo, and eventually was fairly disappointing as Donovan raced to the victory while Michael came up short with an injury. Afterwards, Donovan Bailey had hard words for Michael Johnson, including coward and chicken. He later apologized for them. This weekend, we spoke with Donovan Bailey about the Toronto event, the hard words, and the aftermath. Well, yeah, but I received some rough words. I mean, I, I just I chose not to go public with the words that were coming from him or his camp. So, I mean, I, and so, in a sense, it looked like I was the bad guy. You know, um, uh, this was not... Uh, the, the personal attacks were not started by me, you know, so, and I think it was, uh, I mean, in, in a sense, it, it was wrong for me to, 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 to stoop and actually do that, you know, so which is why it is I apologize. Ready now for the men's 200 meters. In lane one from Australia, Patrick Johnson. Lane two, Kevin Little of the United States. Lane three, Patrick Stevens of Belgium. In lane four, the man himself, Olympic 100 meter gold medalist Donovan Bailey. In lane five, Girmoen of Norway. Lane six, Sergei Inchikov of Latvia. And the crowd roars for Gear Mullins, second from left in the bright green outfit as they run the turn and pull onto the straightaway. Donovan Bailey in black and white with a slight lead, but only a slight one. Moens, the Norwegian right there with the Olympic 100 meter gold medalist. Now Donovan Bailey pulls away, that was close. The time, 20 and 14 one hundredths of a second. And depending on whether the wind was up or down here above two meters per second, he may have a new Canadian record. His goal coming here to Bislett was to try and get what he considered to be a soft record. 20.17 seconds, which was Canada's lifetime best ever by a man at 200 meters. And he may have done it if it's a legal win. Donovan not known for a strong 200 meters. As a matter of fact, it's amazingly weak. His lifetime best coming in here, 20.63 seconds set earlier this year. Moen get out well. He runs the turn well. He is the world indoor champion back in 1995 at 200 meters. This is his strength in front of his home audience, and he's running this race very well. The great sprint speed at 100 meters holds up well for Donovan Bailey here, and he just holds on at the finish. His superior sprint speed holds off the strength of Moen, and he gets second place, does Moen. But a, su a surprisingly very good performance by Moen, in my opinion, and an easy personal best by the world record holder at 100 meters, Donovan Bailey. Final results of the men's 200 meters. Donovan Bailey, 20.14 seconds, but it was wind-aided above the allowable two meters per second. It will not go into the books as a Canadian national record. Geir Moen of Norway finishes second at 20.23, and Patrick Stevens of Belgium third at 20.40. Down to Lewis Johnson. Well, for Donovan Bailey, the time was right on, but the wind was just a little off. Donovan, are you disappointed? You had the record there, but the wind didn't cooperate tonight. Uh, not really. I mean, I, I got through it. I mean, it was an ugly, ugly, ugly race, but I mean, I, <laughs> I, got, I got through it. I mean, last, the last 80 meters was, was real tough on me, but uh, I'm glad that I ran. I know how fast I can run the 200. I mean, technically, if I, if I change a few things that I know I can, uh, I can definitely run under 20 seconds, so I'm not, uh, I'm not really worried about today. I mean, there's going to be another, another day. All right, fantastic. We'll see you in Zurich. Well, yeah, definitely. I'm going to see you next, uh, the next Golden Four meets. Okay, fantastic. Great, thank you.